to the top of the hour. We want to take it out to sports now, where we are following along with uh, two champions who are crowned in high school football today. Let's get out to our AJ McCord, joining us live from Hillsborough Stadium. How's it going out there, AJ? Trevor, it is fantastic. This has been a wonderful day of high school football. It's a very cold, foggy day here at Hillsborough Stadium. But of course, for six teams, it doesn't matter what the weather is because it all comes down to this. We start the action with the 1A title game between Dufer and St. Paul. Second quarter, the Buckaroos QB TJ Crawford goes across his body for a waiting Jaden Jackson. At the two point conversion, St. Paul ties things up at 24. Just before the half, the Rangers come roaring downfield. Derek Frakes airs it out for Cole Corchy. Dufer trails by two at the break, and after an offensive first half, the second half, both defenses clamping down. No offensive TDs, but Tanner Masterson made sure his Dufer Rangers got on the board with the pick six that would turn out to be the game winner. The Dufer Rangers win their fourth straight state championship. It's amazing. I mean, we've been uh, freshman year. Coach Henderson told us you could win four, and now that we've done it, I actually kind of believe him. <laughs> look at the crowd for 1A, a, class, or a school of 120 people, about 3,000 people showed up. And do for, we start in August and we go until now. And this is what we go. We play for November. That's what we play for. And that's what everyone knows around Dufer. If we don't, then. That's bad news for Dufer. <laughs> I don't know. It's amazingly emotional. You know, when you think back over um, the whole span of the, of the four years and just my whole coaching career at Dufer and stuff, I just love the families that um, I'm fortunate enough to work with and, um, and I'm so happy for this group of kids. They've worked so hard um, through their high school years and, and just done amazing stuff for the Ranger football program and the Dufer community. In the 5A game, the Wilsonville Wildcats taking on the Thurston Colts out of the Springfield area. Second quarter, Colts up until Nathan Overholt finds Grant Irby back in the end zone, makes it 10-7 Wilsonville. Wildcats trying to keep pace with the Colts' high-powered offense. Overholt doesn't see anything, so takes it himself. From 14 yards out, Wilsonville up by three. The Colts take a 10-point lead into the break thanks to this. Cade Christ scrambling finds Kyle Casey. Nice move for the score. Third quarter, Overholt airs it out, and oh my goodness, Zach Rivers right in stride, 74 yards. For the score, cats are cooking. Later, we've got Overholt yet again making some magic, tosses it up, and this time it's Brendan Ertel who hauls it in. The Colts add a late field goal to take a 30 to 27 lead. Wilsonville gets a chance with a second on the clock to tie it. 20 bonus yards thanks to Colts penalties. Still not enough. Thurston wins it on the blocked field goal attempt, ending the Wildcats otherwise perfect season. So that was two down, and we've got one to go here at Hillsborough Stadium. Seaside taking on Banks in the 4A state championship game. And this is a big one because Banks beat Seaside 10 to 7 in the regular season. So you know those Seagulls are going to want some revenge, Trevor. I can hardly see the field from up here. So hopefully, those long plays we catch for you, and we'll have them for you tonight at 11 on Coin 6 News. But for now, live from Hillsborough, I'll send it back to you. Yeah.